you develop communication from the very beginning of the job. Everyone starts off right. Everyone kind of builds that more relationship status because everyone's working together. For me, what makes a job successful is always definitely going to be who I'm working with, um, the coordination factor. Um, obviously, it's really important to understand the foundations of what kind of subcontractors I have, what kind of environment you're in, because every city is going to be different. Um, and the key thing for me is communication. If you don't have communication in, in a job, in a job schedule, then one trade is going to be doing one thing or, or one project manager is going to be doing another thing to where you're not, you're not all implementing the same thing. Things can be built wrong or inconsistently if you don't have that communication that's been developed from the very beginning. As all superintendents, now we have all iPads. Um, it's just a better uh, uniform way to actually use a tool because we actually, for example, we use a web dev process to where we're able to actually have all of our documents in hand um, versus actually carrying a, you know, a half size set of drawings. As far as the uh, type of technology, type of scheduling, um, location-based management, once we are sending in our sub meetings, it's just an easier process for them to understand exactly where their guys really need to be. And then they actually started implementing that onto their daily reports which then it triggered them to realize that when they started implementing it, they started realizing where their guys were. Um, it was just more of a quality control for them. When, uh, when you go to a subcontractor and you show them how we're breaking it down, they actually can give you more input as far as coordination. Um, and as far as multifamily, it's a very key attribute to that because you're gonna have several trades in different locations at different times.